Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've been asked how to do the little camera setup y thing on my helmet, all right? So, motor vlogging is a very simple concept, and there's a million ways to do it. Now, I've looked up like 30,000 videos on how to fucking do this thing, so I'm gonna do my own one. Now, if you look at me, a little Rurock helmet here, you'll notice a little something something here. Like this little camera mount, okay? Now, this is an official one made by this company. Now, there's a website, like I think it's called Camera Mounts, they make Stuff for all kinds of helmets, right? If you don't have a Rurok one, you can look up your helmet on one of those ones, and you'll probably find one there. So, to get a little motor vlog going, you don't need expensive shit, all right? Now, let me show you this over here. All right? Now, you don't need expensive stuff. This is what I started with. See this little thing? This is what they typically use with, like, dirt bike helmets, okay? This thing, you put... Bam! You've got a GoPro mount on your helmet. Now, if you look closely, You'll notice a little bit of DIY stuff done to this one because the camera itself doesn't quite fit with this one in my case. So I had to like grind it so it can go back a bit more. But there you go. You've got a little $15 GoPro mount. Ah, if you notice my little ghetto microphone clip, I forgot to bring the thing. So this is the cheapest option you could probably go for for a camera mount on your helmet. When I first started, I'd actually mount it upside down so I can get a better actual angle for the camera. Now, you don't need to go expensive for the camera. In fact, this is what I've been using at the moment. This is the GoPro Hero. I think it's a 2014 one. It's basically the budget version of the GoPro Hero 4, which is everyone's favorite. My girlfriend gave me this one. It hadn't been charged in like forever, and somehow it's still a champion. So if you did need a camera and you got access to this little bad boy, fantastic, and it's waterproof. Get your little SD card in there, Bob's your uncle, all right? That's your camera. For the microphone, there's a few options you can actually go for. I've got this one, all right? You don't need to do this. This is some of that high quality shit, all right? This is a Tascam DR10L. Now you can be like chase on two wheels and glue it to the back of your helmet, but I don't want to do that. You, all you have to do is kind of stick it in your pocket and Bob's your uncle as well. These ones are good. They got this little um, screw on there. So if your camera fall or your microphone pack falls, it ain't gonna be going in it because it's, it's actually screwed on quite nicely, all right? You use a little AAA battery and it's fine. Now, if you don't want to fork out the money for that, you can do what I did when I started. It's quite an ingenious thing. You can buy a purple panda. I used to use one, but in fact, I actually didn't like it too much for what I was using it for. You can just use an old pair of earphones with a microphone on them. Clip off the bit with the actual earphone bit and buy a dead cat on like Amazon for $3. Shove that little microphone in there, connect it to your phone, click record. And, and you'd be surprised. That thing actually sounds really well. In fact, it got better results for me than the Purple Panda did. All right? So these are your options. Microphone, you can go expensive or you can go nice and cheap like I told you. Camera, now I haven't got a good one. That works fine. If you need an example, every motor vlog I've done, film with this thing. If you need a shitty mount, bam. If you want to go expensive, that's the option, all right? Now, in terms of actually setting it up for yourself, what you're gonna be doing is using these little GoPro things, right? So the Rurok helmet ships with two little bits, all right? This part and the little extension. The camera doesn't quite fit on that alone and you don't really want that. In my case, it didn't actually ship with this little bolt, with this little nut thing in here, right? I had to go buy that separately. But all you wanna do is you just stick it in there and then get your camera and quite get it up to the angle, all right? Now, if you're actually, if you don't quite know the angle to set up your camera on, it's very simple, all right? Once you kind of get it in there, just go up to a mirror or something, and when you're looking in the mirror, where your vision sits, you want to adjust this camera until it's looking exactly where your eyes are looking. And if you find out, like when you do a video, you want to see a bit more of your motorbike, just tilt it down a little bit, all right? But generally speaking, if you're looking in the mirror and you see the camera lens is looking where your eyes are looking, you'll be pretty happy. But there you go. Um, that's all you need to do for that part. And if you want to actually get your microphone set up for how you need it, all you need to simply do is crack open the visor, all right? And when you're, when you're just getting ready, you start by feeding the mic in from the top, pull open one of your cheek pads and sort of just wedge it in there, facing upwards so it gets less wind noise. You kind of want a microphone where the microphone is just one direction, it's sort of at the top so it just picks up all the noise. You don't need it in front of your mouth because there's wind noise there, you're in a helmet, sound bounces around anyway. So if you listen to my videos, you'll hear that my voice can be heard. I'm also a loud man, so like I can be heard regardless. But there, you just feed the wire down, put it in 
a little pocky pocky or in your pants and she'll be right. Other than that, there's not really much else to motor vlogging. It's as simple as buy some shitty little thing off Amazon. If you haven't got enough money to buy a Rurock helmet that has the fancy stance, or if you don't want to spend 30, 40, 50 bucks on a fancy glue on one, this one, if you only want to do it once or twice, you can take it straight off your helmet because it's only Velcro. You want to fork it out? Buy the fancy one. It glues on there forever, but it's also going to be made and perfectly fit the helmet. Microphone, like I said, you can fork out some money and get a professional one, or you can just use an old pair of headphones, snippy snippy the earpiece and put a dead cat around it and hook it up to your phone, click record, and the sound will be fine. And once again, this is everything you sort of need. Otherwise, I mean, you do need a phone if you're going down that route, but that's as simple as motor vlogging is. I've done it in that exact order. I started with crap and the shitty phone recorder and it worked fine. I think I did two or three motor vlogs with it that way. I was pretty happy with it. Then I bought the Tascam and life was immediately made so much simpler, but also it was a bit irritating. Purple Panda mic's a bit hot for this thing, so if you're using a Purple Panda mic, make sure it's hooked up to your phone. If you find it's not working, make sure you're using the right plug-in, because the Purple Panda's got an adapter with two rings, three rings around the actual plug. If you have one, you'll understand, and your phone might be a bit finicky, depending on which one you pick. Mine was, and I didn't like it. Other than that, GoPro, just use whichever one you got your hands on. And then when the time comes, you upgrade to a better one. I'm gonna do it one day, but she's a workhorse. She'll do until then. Other than that, that's all I really need to get onto. Thank you so much for witnessing everything and all this whew, talk about cameras and mounts and microphones and mounts and microphones and helmets and other things of the sort. But it's very simple. If you don't understand it, just do it, put it all together, find out you're comfortable and just just go for a ride, give it a suss. I think I did three rides before I was actually comfortable with my camera placement with this thing over here. And once you sort of get it once, you never really stuff up again. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Take it easy, keep it cheesy, and peace. Bye.